Welcome or welcome back to Indigo Soul Yoga. Today we have a 10 minute floor yoga practice for you. I am Stephanie. I will be guiding you through today's practice. Go ahead and grab one or two blocks and a blanket or towel or a knee pad for extra cushion for your knees, your shins, your hands. When you're ready, go ahead and come down to your mat. Finding your way into hero's pose, place a block between your legs, maybe two blocks or a blanket and have a seat. Shoulders stack over your hips. Arms are out wide, hands are tented. As you exhale, left ear reaching towards your left shoulder. As you inhale, bring your head back up to center. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. On the inhale, head comes up to center. Reach your arms overhead and float over to the left side. Walk your left hand out wide, side body stretch. Rising up, right hand floats down, left arm reaches over. Relax your shoulder from your ears. Both arms reaching up, floating your arms out wide. Arms reaching up, palms face each other, releasing your hands down. Arms are going to reach up, find length in your spine, Floating your hands down, arms reaching up, float your hands down, rising up, palms reach up, have a seat on your block, float your arms down, pressing into your shins, rise up, release your hands down to the earth, press into your shins, rise up, have a seat. One more time, reaching up and lower down. Folding over to the left side. Let your right hand cup the back of your head, elbow reaching up, big side body stretch. Rising back up, right hand floats down, left arm reaches over. When you're ready, left hand cups the back of your head, elbow to the sky, chin reaching up. Rising back up, both arms overhead. Take your arms out wide. Press into your shins, arms reach up. Palms come to your lower back, Ustrasana Camel Pose, Heart Opener. Chin to the sky, rise up, neutral spine. Find your way into hands and knees, tabletop position. If your block or cushion was between your legs, take it to the top of your mat. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Right arm reaches up, right arm curls under the left. Rise that right arm back up, thread it under the left, finding a little flow. Right arm to the sky, dive your right arm under your left, right arm reaching up and threading it through, right shoulder resting on your mat or a block, right temple on your mat or a block. Walk your left hand to the top of your mat. Feel free to place your left hand on a block for a little bit of support. Hips are stacked over your knees, shoulders stretch, chest stretch. Walk your left hand back to your mat, right arm reaching up, right hand to your hip. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. Look over your right shoulder. Find stability in your lower body. Option to stay here or extend your right arm up. Fingertips to the sky, shoulder into the socket. When you're ready, take a half bind, right hand towards your left hip crease. Anchor down through your left hand Right arm reaching up, take your right hand down, step your left foot outside your mat. As you exhale, sit your hips back towards your right heel. On the inhale, shifting forward, have a seat, press back, long spine, shifting forward. Press your way back, shift it forward, press your way back, shift it forward. And bring your left knee down to your mat, reset. Curl your toes under, feel free to reach your hands back to spread all 10 toes, five digits on both sides, out wide, including your pinky toe. Grab your block, place it between your legs and have a seat. Shoulders stack over your hips. This is a big stretch for your toes. It may be somewhat uncomfortable. If it's possible, soften your forehead, soften your mouth. 
awareness of your breath. Allow yourself to turn inward for a moment to find a place of centering. Allow your mat to support you. Stay grounded. Press into your shins, lift up. Slide your block to the top of your mat. Uncurl your toes. Feel free to pat your feet out if that feels nice. You can shift your hips side to side as well. Press your palms into your mat. Lengthen through your spine. Recenter, reset, grounded practice. Extend your left arm towards the sky. Dive it underneath your right. Open up to the sky. Thread it through. Spin your chest to the sky and rotate under. Reaching up. Thread it through. Left shoulder on your mat. Left temple on your mat. Walk your right hand forward. Hand on your block or on your mat. Hips over your knees. Spine is lengthened. Present with breath, finding lengthening of your shoulder, of your chest. Walk your right hand back in, left arm reaches up. Bring your hand to your hip, look over your left shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. Left arm reaching up. When you're ready, Take that half bind. Option to stay here or step your right foot to the back of your mat. Grounded in your lower body, chest opener, spine is long. Left arm reaches up. Take your left hand down, both hands on your mat. Right leg steps outside your mat. On the exhale, sit back towards your left heel, shifting forward. Release your breath out, sit back. Make your way forward. Sitting back, shifting forward. Sitting back, shifting forward. Bring your right knee down to your mat. Recenter. Find your blocks. Place your block between your legs, curl your toes under, shoulders over your hips, hands at your hips or alongside your body, option for your palms to rest on your thighs, supporting that grounded space. Smooth breaths in and out. Letting go of expectation, allowing yourself to be as you are. Few more breaths, in through your nose and out. Lift your hips off of your block, take your block to the top of your mat. Come to have a seat on your mat, legs are bent, move the flesh from underneath your tailbone. And from here, butterfly your legs, soles of your feet together, knees open. Feel free to take blocks under your thighs for support. Right hand on your thigh, left arm is forward. Turn to the right slightly. Walk your left hand to your left thigh. Walk your right hand forward. Turn to the left, looking over your shoulder. Gaze is forward. Bring both palms down to your mat. Walk your arms as far forward as they can go safely, where you feel supported. Rounding your spine. Hips flowering open. Walk your hands back towards your body, rising up. Close your legs together. Once again, move the flesh as needed. Hands come behind your thighs, recline back. Arms reaching forward. 
arms out like a T. Abs are fired up. Bring your palms under your thighs, rising back up. And find your way into a cross leg seat. Palms facing the sky, closing your eyes, or let your eyes be soft. If a cross leg seat doesn't feel comfortable in your body, know that you can always come to staff pose, legs extended forward, and feel free to place a cushion or blanket under your knees or under your sacrum. Bring your palms together at heart center. Full breath in, full release out. I thank you so much for practicing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this channel with a friend.